Welcome to the Verified Unknown. We don't give you the answers, we give you the evidence and let you decide for yourself. Today we are diving into one of the most compelling and controversial ideas in modern thought, the collective consciousness and the strange phenomenon known as the 100th monkey effect. Imagine a discovery so profound that once a critical number of people learn it, it suddenly becomes known to almost everyone, as if the knowledge jumped from one mind to another through an invisible field. This isn't science fiction. It's the core of a story that began on a remote Japanese island in the 1950s. In 1952, primatologists were studying a troop of macaque monkeys. To gain their trust, scientists dropped sweet potatoes onto the sand. The monkeys loved the food, but not the gritty sand. A young, innovative monkey, let's call her Imo, figured out she could wash the potatoes in a nearby stream, making them clean and delicious. She taught this trick to her mother and her playmates. Gradually, over several years, more and more monkeys in the troop adopted the behaviour. It was a classic case of learned behaviour, passed through observation. But then, something extraordinary was reported. The story goes that once a critical number of monkeys, let's say the 100th monkey, learned the behaviour, something clicked. Suddenly, almost every monkey in the troop was washing their potatoes. But the real shockwave was this. Colonies of monkeys on other islands, with no physical contact, spontaneously started washing their sweet potatoes at the same time. The researcher, Lyle Watson, popularised this idea in his 1979 book, Life Tide. He suggested that when a certain critical mass achieves a new awareness or behaviour, this new awareness can be communicated directly from mind to mind through what we might call a collective consciousness or a morphogenetic field. The hundredth monkey wasn't just a number, it was a tipping point. Now, before we dive into the human experiments that seem to support this, we have to ask you a quick favour. If you're finding the mysteries of the mind as fascinating as we do, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you're joining our community of evidence seekers, and you make sure you don't miss our next deep dive into the verified unknown. If you're finding the mysteries of the mind as fascinating as we do, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So, was the monkey experiment a fluke? Or can we see this effect in humans? This leads us to a fascinating modern experiment, often called the picture association test, or the face experiment. Researchers showed a large number of people a seemingly abstract, black and white image. At first glance, it just looks like splotches of ink, a forest, perhaps. Hidden within the image, however, is the detailed face of a man. When first shown the picture, less than 1% of participants could see the face. It was virtually invisible. The researchers then showed a small control group, a different, much clearer version of the face training them to recognise the style and features. As this small, enlightened group learned to see the face, the researchers continued to show the original cryptic image to the general public. And here's where it gets weird. As more and more people in the small group learned to see the face, a strange thing happened back in the main population. The percentage of people who could spontaneously see the hidden face in the original, untampered image began to rise. Slowly at first, then more rapidly, it was as if the knowledge of how to see the face was leaking into the collective psyche. Once a critical mass of people, perhaps a few thousand, had learned it, the ability seemed to go viral in the new sphere, the field of human consciousness. Soon, the vast majority of new test subjects, with no prior training, could immediately spot the hidden face. The information had, in a sense, become collective property. Now, it is absolutely crucial to be sceptical here. The original 100th monkey story has been heavily criticised. Many scientists point out that the original primate data was incomplete and that the spontaneous transmission to other islands is anecdotal and unverified. They argue that the monkeys on other islands could have figured it out on their own or that young migrating monkeys could have carried the knowledge. Similarly, the human face experiment, while compelling, is often cited in New Age circles without rigorous, repeatable scientific documentation. The scientific mainstream demands more controlled, replicable evidence before accepting such a radical idea. So where does that leave us? With a powerful metaphor, if not a proven scientific fact. The hundredth monkey effect, whether literal or symbolic, points to a profound possibility. That our minds are not isolated islands. That there is a field we all participate in. A reservoir of shared knowledge and intuition. That when enough of us shift our perception, that shift can ripple out and change the world. So, we've given you the evidence, the history and the scepticism. Now, we want to hear from you. The comment section is your lab. Do you think the collective consciousness is real? Have you ever experienced a hive mind moment where you knew something just as it seemed to be entering the public awareness? Weigh in below and tell us, do you believe we are all connected by an invisible field of consciousness? Let's see where the collective mind of the verified unknown community stands. Thanks for watching.
Remember to stay curious.